very warm good morning to one and all. Respected principal ma'am, vice principal ma'am, teachers and my dear friends. Adaptability and flexibility are two most important qualities that a person needs to possess. Adaptability is a personality trait that helps determine how you respond to change. People with high adaptability are often described as flexible, team players or someone who goes with the flow. Adaptability shows the ability to learn from experience and improves the fitness of a personality. Flexibility means contacting the present moment fully as a conscious human being and based on what the situation affords, changing or persisting in behavior in the service of chosen values. In everyday language, this means holding on our thoughts and emotions a bit more lightly and acting on longer term values rather than short term impulses, thoughts and feelings. Today, we class well see present before you a skill based on the theme adaptability and flexibility. Okay, students, let's find out the class today. See you for tomorrow. A girl enters with a slip in her hand. The girl hand over the slip to the teacher. The teacher reads it. Yes, she's our new student. You can join them. The new girl looks for a seat and sits on one of the empty benches. And after some time, a boy starts bullying her. She is forced to take another seat. She approaches a mother first. No, this is the same. A new teacher enters. It's the beginning of his teaching career. It's his first class ever. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes. My name is Mike and I come here to teach you history. Oh. Why? What happened? Silence. Silence. Take out a history textbook. Today we will learn something interesting. It's called the French Revolution. Please turn to page 7 in a history textbook. French Revolution happened in the year 1789. It was a class struggle where the revolution led by the commoners overthrew the monarch. Hey, where's the textbook? Where's the textbook? I don't have it. Why? I didn't buy it. Why didn't you buy it, man? I am living at the time. Wow, great. Can you, sir? <laughs> Silence! The prison fort of... We will continue. The prison fort of Bastide was attacked by the mob because it was considered as the symbol of the despotic rule of the monarch. Hey. Excuse me, hey. Hey, stand up. What's your name? Hafiz. Sorry? Hafiz. Okay, tell me, Hafiz, in which year was the French Revolution conducted? Sir, 2001. I can't hear you. 2001. Man, I'll ask for a birthday. It's not 2001. <laughs> Can anyone in this class answer this question? Sir? Yes, tell me. 1789. Yes. It's correct. Sit down. Very good. Oh. Why are we listening? Why are we asking the us? We don't need you. Who? Who said that? We don't need, need you. We want our authorities are back. Yes. Have it your way then. The teacher stops out of the class and goes to the staff room. 
student, what happened? Those students are dating me. It's a negative energy inside the class. Some of them don't have the textbook, some of them are not, not attending them. It's a negative, inside, negative energy inside the class. I can teach them. I'm sorry for what they did. Let me tell you one thing. The children are very much attached to their old teacher and they, they are missing her very much. Let's go out for some fresh air. Okay, sir. Sir, actually those children are very good children. It's not because of any personal issue with you. It's just because they love their old teacher very much. Let me tell you one more thing. When I started my career, I too had the same experience. You too can become a good teacher by adapting to your situations and being a flexible teacher. Everything will be alright and I will talk to them. All the best. Thank you, sir. Act 2, a new day, a fresh beginning. Good morning, Yes, good morning. Sit down. Yes? Sorry for what happened, yes, sir. It's okay, sit down. Sorry, sir. Now tell me, why are you all sorry? Sir, so what are we Yes, he's right. Sit down. Yes, when I entered this class for the first time, I felt an active attitude inside this class. I don't know why it, it came out, but I think it's because that you miss your old teacher. I might, I might not be as good as sir, but I can promise you one thing. I can try my best and try to become like her, like her, if you cooperate with me. Now, another thing I would like to bring to your notice is an awkward situation which I found here. Before I share that awkward situation, I would like to share an experience. I was born and brought up in Bombay. I did my school until 7th grade in Bombay. And my father, who used to work in the railways, got a transfer to Kochi. And when I moved to Kochi, it was a whole new experience for me. I didn't have friends, I didn't know the language properly. It was a bad experience for me, but when I started doing my schooling there, my friends took care of me and made me feel like a family for them. Now, can anyone in this class relate to that experience of being left out? Yes, I knew. I knew she was the one. I knew she was the odd one out here. Please, come here. Are you new to the school? Please introduce yourself to the class. Hi friends, I'm Sita. I was born and brought up in Delhi. From the standard onwards, I was in Santam Public School. And my father got a transfer. And now I'm here. Let me ask you one thing, Sita. Do you miss your old friends? Yes, sir. I really miss my friends. Did you get any new friends here? Now tell me, who would like to be her friend here? Yes. Are you happy now? Yes, Go back to your seat. Flexibility requires an open mind. I'm so honored and happy to see that you students are all flexible in nature. I'm truly happy to see you that in your nature and in your character, you are truly flexible. There is a Chinese proverb that says, The ones adapt themselves to circumstances, as water molds itself to the container. Being adaptable and flexible means, let's try trying to change your circumstances, which may or may not work, and more time adjusting your attitudes and expectations. I hope you all, all enjoy our small presentation. I hope it enlightened you with the ideas of humility and harmonious living. Every person must possess the values which enhances the life of all beings and let's live with the dignified notion. Live and let